I want to talk to you about uh, putting windows on your Mac, uh, especially in the context of litigation or for lawyers. Now I have my MacBook here. Uh, I purchased this uh, a couple of months ago, maybe half a year ago, and I do run Windows on it. That's something that you can do. I think before you can really do that, you have to remember that, at least in the legal world, you're in a Windows world. Um, everything is Windows first, and maybe there's a Mac version. One of the things that probably will come up very frequently is the, the transcript files, the eTrans that you get from your court reporters. eTran, that is a .ptx file type. Those can only be viewed on Windows PCs. Uh, from there, you can download the free, I think it's Real Legal uh, transcript viewer. From there, you can convert that to a full-size uh, PDF, a mini PDF, or an ASCII, like a .txt file. You can do all those things, convert it within that. Um, but that is a Windows-only product. Other things that are Windows-only are surveillance videos. You're usually getting an export from the surveillance system, and it's usually proprietary. Um, the only way it'll work most of the time is on a PC. So if you want to view that, you're going to have to have Windows. Other things that are PC specific are things like case map, trial director, and sanction. I'm not sure how relevant case map is anymore, but in terms of trial director and sanction, those are still very relevant as trial presentation tools. Parallels is a piece of software that lets you run a virtual instance of Windows. In essence, it's, you're putting like a little computer inside your, your computer. It takes up some of the resources from your Mac, so uh, it's a pretty processor uh, intensive thing to do. I wouldn't recommend doing it on anything less than a higher spec uh, MacBook Pro, but you can do it. And so now I'm actually running Windows inside a window uh, on my Mac. And so we'll let it boot up for a second and take a look at it. So now I've got uh, Windows 10 open inside a window uh, on my Mac. If things come become a little bit trickier is if you have applications in Windows that make use of an extended desktop setup or if you are an extended desktop user. I'm a big proponent of extended desktops utilizing more kind of real estate for you to work with. Um, I don't really like spaces quite as much, although I use it quite a bit when I'm using just the MacBook. In order to take advantage or even to use um, something like Trial Director or Sanction within Windows, for example, I'll pull up Sanction 2.9, which is my favorite version, even though it's a little bit old, of Sanction. I'll pull it up. I've got Windows running kind of like in a window in Mac. But once I go to then try and publish an exhibit, let's say I hit the publish exhibit uh, and get into presentation mode. Normally, once I hit that on a PC, it turns my second screen into the jury screen, and that screen turns blank. blank. But if you look here on my MacBook, it has turned this screen blank because I'm running Windows inside a window. And even though I'm connected to another monitor, Windows doesn't realize that I'm connected to another monitor, at least not right now. So I have to change in parallels the setting to make sure it uses all the displays in full screen and I have to actually enter full screen mode. So now I've got my desktop. It's taking up kind of like all four corners uh, of the MacBook. Let's get back here. Now when I run presentation mode, it will turn my extended monitor black. Right? And from there, I can then take the exhibit and get it published. And so that's how that works. But then if I want to switch from this to say, and I'm presenting this in front of a jury and I want to switch to PowerPoint, unless I install another instance or buy another subscription to PowerPoint, and I get it with a PowerPoint subscription, you get like five installs. Um, but unless I use another install of it on my PC, um, I'm going to have to switch to the Mac version of PowerPoint, which to do that, then I'll have to use spaces to three finger swipe over and as I do that it sh it'll affect how this second monitor behaves and right now I'm looking at the desktop background for the extended desktop on my Mac to get back to the extended desktop on the PC that's inside this Mac I have to swipe spaces back over uh, the extended desktop for sanction will show up so it's a lot to kind of mentally juggle and keep track of and what's inevitably going to end up happening is you're going to think that you're publishing the right thing. Something else is going to be up there. And so I don't recommend if you want to use a trial laptop, uh, or if you want to use trial presentation software and run Windows in a Mac, I just don't think it's a really good fit uh, unless you're an expert user. So if it's something that you're considering because you like the ease and simplicity of Macs, 
nothing about running Windows in a Mac is all that easy or all that simple. Uh, it's coming a long way. Ultimately, the best thing that could happen is if these trial presentation software uh, companies would start writing software for the Mac, but as far as I know now, there isn't really a reliable uh, Mac-based trial presentation solution. I am aware of Trial Smart that it's out there, but uh, it's not something that I would personally use. Not quite yet. I haven't had enough time to really like test it out thoroughly recently. I haven't looked at it in probably five or six years, but uh, for now, it's, if you're in the trial presentation world, you're still going to be using PCs. The good news is PCs, I actually like the Windows experience better than I like the Mac OS experience right now. When you're using extended desktops, I think that Windows is much more convenient. It depends on what your use case is, whether or not this is going to work out for you. But overall, kind of like the short answer is, I don't think it really works that well in the legal sphere yet. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I would love to talk to you down there.